Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a T-Mobile Revel V Plus 5G, and this device does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen lock pin that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the second option to have us log in to a Google account that was previously used on the device in order to be able to get back in and be able to use it as normal. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this exact model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, obviously the buyer discovered the lock, and the seller in that case has usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So, as you could clearly see, the device was on the Google Lock page, and then I just powered it off and plugged it into our computer program here to finish up the last few steps of the process. Now that that's been done, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps here without running into that Google Lock that we were seeing before. So, after it's rebooted, it's talking about connecting to a mobile network, which we don't necessarily need to do, so we're just going to skip that. And then it says that it's getting the phone ready and it may take a few minutes. We don't need to copy any apps and data, so we're just going to skip that step. And now here we come to a different screen where you'll notice that it's prompting us to sign in with any Google account instead of specifically requiring the previous one. So that is a great indication that the lock has been successfully uh, removed. We're just going to go ahead and finish skipping through all the rest of the setup services and steps, though, just to make sure that we can get all the way to the home screen. So we're going to skip the Google services, the screen lock. We don't need Google wallets. So we're going to skip that. And there we go. We've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So I know you saw the boot logo there showing the Revel V Plus 5G, but then also here just to confirm when we go under About Phone, we can indeed see that that is the correct model that we have here. And again, the Revel line is an entire series of phones that's manufactured by a Chinese company and built specifically for T-Mobile. So there's many different variations of them. But this one here, the V Plus 5G, that's the one that this video is specifically regarding. So if you have one of these Revel V Plus 5Gs and would like help getting the Google Lock removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our details there as well.
While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.